Permission slip accepted. Move along. Slip accepted. Move along. Thank you. Now this is gonna be a field trip. Group your rabbits. Here we come. Ah, uh, the Rhapsody of a theme park, where the names of the rides are both fun and tasty. Thank you. Enjoy the park. Sorry, I'm closed. Closed? But we have our slips. They're signed by our real parents and everything. The slips were due by one. It's now one after one. You mean we can't go? For the love of humanity, this is Root Beer Rapids we're talking about. Sorry, guys, but rules are rules, and Miss Lemon counts on me to enforce them. But can't you break the rules just this once? Break the rules? That would undermine the entire foundation on which we build our society. Why, without rules, there would be no alphabet, no names, no procedure by which to organize those names in a comprehensive filing system. I'm sorry, but there's nothing more I can do. <laughs> Let it out, little guy. Let it out. Someday they'll understand. And on that day, they'll thank me. Come on, Gus. Don't feel so bad. Oh, sure. Easy for you to say. You got your permission slip in on time. But Mikey and me are doomed. Doomed. Get your balls. Get your balls here. Come on, Gus. Make a good ball. and help you feel better. Okay, okay. One kid at a time and no pushing or you won't get anything at all. Oh, man. This isn't a ball. It's a rubber sack. Yeah, come on, you little rat. Where's the good balls? The good balls? Yes. Where did I put those? Oh, I remember. I'm saving them all for myself. <laughs> You're not a nice person. Do you know that, Randall? I guess there's only one thing left to say. Battle time! Battle time! Battle time! Battle time! Hey, wait up! Ah, break time. Team Red. I pick Mikey. Lawson. Gus. What's going on? It's Battle Tag. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with this Battle Tag. It's only the greatest playground game ever invented. I played it once. Out of the way, Weasel! It was magical. I pick Lazy Kid. Oh, all right. Just don't expect me to run or jump or nothing. Well, that's it. Let the battle begin. Yeah! Hey, wait a minute. Haven't you forgotten something? We get first stops! Yeah! Nine years old, and I've never been picked. It's because I'm too busy. It's because I'm too important. It's because, because they, they don't, don't appreciate me. You know, Memo, I like the way you talk. Likewise, Randall. Say, it occurs to me. Why should those kids have all the fun? Supposing we call the shots for a change. I mean, think about it. You have skills, and so do I. Why, with my knowledge of the playground, and your knowledge of the office filing system, we could, dare I say it, rule the school. I'm afraid I don't quite follow. Ah, hey, what's going on? Listen here, Griswold. You're going to do what we tell you to, and you're going to do it with a smile. You know why? Because my friend Memo here is going to accept your permission slip to root your rabbit. Understand? Gee, Randall, I'm starting to think this isn't such a good idea. The administrative handbook. Hey. Do it! Gee, thanks. Well, see you guys at root your rabbit. Not so fast, Griswold. First, it's payback time. Cinderella, dressed in yellow, went downstairs to kiss her fellow. Not so fast, Menlo. Spinelli, your records indicate that you've accumulated a total of 17 tardies this year. Yeah. So, what would it be worth to you if those tardies were to suddenly, shall we say, disappear? Ah, 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 I'm swinging to the clouds. I'm swinging to Mars. I'm swinging to the maximum height limit recommended by the manufacturer. Wait a hop, man. I'm invincible. So, uh, Menlo, what do you say? Are we even? Sure, Vince. We'll just pretend you never lost any of those footballs. Oh, man, you guys didn't see me hopping scotch, did ya? It's okay, Vince. Gus and Spinelli told us what was going on. You two have had your fun. I think it's time you stop trading favors before things get out of hand. He's right, Randall. You run the risk of upsetting the natural order of the playground. Ah, Gretchen Grunler. The reasonable one. What can we fix for our fine friend, Gretchen? Any tardies? An absence, perhaps? The tormenting shame of an overdue book? Nah, she doesn't have any of those. I pride myself on maintaining an exemplary record. Although... There is the matter of a certain first-grade spelling bee in which you and the judge shared the delusion that the word Mississippi was spelled. Stop! All right, neighbor Price. Yellow bike in the rack by the library. See, it gets a good washing. Threatening to reveal confidential information. You've come a long way, my friend. As I always say, if you can't beat them, join them. If you can't join them, bribe them. And if you can't bribe them, blackmail them. <laughs> Boys, you won't believe the dirt we dug up on you. You never knew this, ladies, but one of your fathers graduated from a certain state university. Shall we all find out which one it was? <gasps> Excellent Thompson Seedless Upside Down Girl. Firm and succulent. You've done well. Very nice, but remember, you can't just write that you have a crush on me. You have to tell people, too. Ladies, Randallus! Very nice. Now get to work on my mural. You track the looks, sirs. Yeah, you call that chocolatey? Take it back! And don't return till there's rich, delicious fun in every sip! You heard the man. More funliciousness. 
I'd say we've reorganized the playground quite nicely, wouldn't you, Randall? I don't know, Menlo. I've got a bad feeling. Like somewhere out there, some kid is playing a game or telling a joke or maybe squirting grape juice out of his nose, and we're not in on it. But we can put a stop to that. <laughs> Time is all I can say. <gasps> By order of Principal Prickle. No playing, no running, no fun. <laughs> Children of the playground! Children of the playground! Report to the jungle gym for today's activity! And welcome to the first recess of the rest of your life. <laughs> no, not there! Ah! <laughs> Who said that? Step forward, impertinent one. Ah, TJ Deadweiler. You talk big, hidden anonymously in the crowd of a Chinese checkers match, but perhaps you wouldn't feel so brave if I told everyone what the initial J and TJ stands for. <gasps> Back down, Teach. He means it. We won't think any less of you. Go on, Teach. Walk away. We'll get them later when they're asleep. Go ahead. Tell them I don't care. You've already taken away my recess. You can't do any worse to me than that. <laughs> hmm. He's a strong one, this Detweiler. Yes, he doesn't bend easily to threats. However, perhaps we can get to him through the large boy. All right, people. Who can name the most powerful lizard that ever ruled the Earth? Randall. <laughs> Mikey Blumberg, I'm sorry to report that a number of suspicious inaccuracies have been discovered in the ledger you kept while manning the muffin booth at last year's PTA fundraiser. <gasps> Effective immediately, you are suspended. <gasps> I'm afraid it's official. It's got Principal Prickly's signature right here. Mikey, you'll have to go with Menlo. <laughs> Do not weep for me, my friends. Weep for the muffins whom I have failed. This time they've gone too far. Yeah, ever since Menlo started hanging out with Randall, he went from being a dweeb, to being a creep, to being a jerk, to being a dweeby, creepy jerk all in one. If only we could break him apart. Gus, that gives me an idea. It's not going to be easy, and it won't be pretty, but it just might be our only hope. Hey, you can't play Battle Tag. You've seen the signs. No playing, no running, no fun. I pick Lazy Kid. What, again? Don't you people ever rest? All right, fine. You go ahead and play your game. We'll have every one of you suspended. Come, Menlo, let's begin the paperwork. Wait, don't leave yet. We haven't finished picking sides. Huh? What are you talking about? I pick Menlo. Really? Sure. Now, come on, the team's waiting. Thanks. That's it. Let's play. Yeah! Menlo, come back here. Are you crazy, Randall? I've been picked. I've been picked. Woo! Boy, does it feel good to get picked. But you can't just go. Can't I? Nothing in the rules says I can't. But, but, we're partners. Bad boys to the end. You can't do this to me. I made you what you are. Before me, you were nothing. Nothing. Do you hear me? Nothing. Hey, Menlo, for a lousy rat thing to eat, you don't play half bad. Why, thank you. If you want, you can play again tomorrow. I appreciate the invitation, but truth be told, now that I've actually played this game, it's just too disorganized for my liking. If you'll excuse me, I've got some rules to revive, some filing to catch up on, and a certain special lady waiting for me back at the office. <laughs> nearly as sweet as those muffins. The problem with Menlo was he's weak, but not me. They may beat me this time, TJ and his pals, but I'll be back. They'll see. They'll see. Ow! 